Performance Publishing Group, making a difference one story at a time. We'll be shining the light on successful founders, entrepreneurs, business owners, and leaders that are getting results and making a difference. We'll talk about how they built their businesses, are creating movements, and leveraging the power of authority in their own lives. Be sure to stick around to the end of the show and we'll reveal how you can be our next guest. Let's get started. Hello and welcome back to the Power of Authority Spotlight. This is Michelle Prince with my special guest today, Sherry Battle, who is the CEO of Entrepreneur Dream Team. She is a self-made millionaire and expert investor. Her program teaches people of all backgrounds how to make their first million dollars. Battle is passionate about helping others build generational wealth and preserve a legacy for their families, which this is a topic I don't know anyone who doesn't want to know how to make generational wealth. <laughs> So welcome to the show, Sherry. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really appreciate and be, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> so I know the question on everyone's mind, including myself, is how on earth did you become a self-made millionaire? Well, you know, at the end of the day, to be honest, I know everybody have a, a story and they they look for something really intriguing and exciting and people make up stories, but I'm just going to be real. Um, the truth of the matter is when I made my first million, I was not trying to make a, a million. I, it just happened. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that when you are doing something that you really love, I really am dedicated to whatever I put my mind to. And I was really dedicated to it. I really love what I was doing. And it was my accountant that contacted me and told me that I had made over a million dollars. And when she was telling me, I was on the phone, I was busy with somebody else. And as she was telling me, she said, you know, you got taxes involved, you got this and you got that. And, and, and so I was not in my head, no, but I was happy that I, what she was saying. But at the same time, I was like, you know, I had mixed feelings about it, but I was still happy. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm very, I'm an engineer by trade. So I'm very, um, strategic about what I do, very deliberate about what I do. And the planning of what I did, it was it was a plan, but it had nothing to do with making a million dollars. And so when she told me I wanted to see it, I wanted to see the numbers. I wanted to understand how I got there and why. And so when she set me down and explained to me and showed me, it was, it was no way I couldn't make a million dollars. It was no way I could not make a million dollars the way I was going. And so as I understood it, now that I understood I could make a million dollars this way, then I just kept making a million dollars in different ways, the same way. Okay. And, and would you, is majority of that coming from, from real estate? Did you start a, a services business? You know, stock? Well, my first million, well, my first business, and when that happened, I had a business. It was my first business that I ever had. And um, it was a modeling agency. And so um, after that, you know, I started expanding my business to, at that time it was in the 80s. So it was, um, uh, no, by now it was, yeah, the 80s and 90s. And um, I, by now they had the mail order catalogs going on. So I then branched off into the same business into a mail order. And then I opened up a store and, you know, it just kept dominoing because once you have the formula, once you understand what you're doing, you can just keep doing it over and over again. And, and that was what I did. And mm -hmm. let's talk about the formula because I know you have entrepreneur dream team uh, and talk about what that is because you help other people to follow your formula. I know you started with your son and then you kind of broadened out, but talk about what is that formula and how does that okay, work? So the, the truth of the matter is um, I was doing really well with my businesses and um, my son graduated from uh, college in 2013 when the economy sunk, got bad. And here he went to a, a, a great school and everybody around him not having a job. I said, this was an opportunity for me to teach him and mentor him. And so I thought that he would want to do the store because we were really heavily into our stores and he, that's what he grew up with 
And he said, no, I want the real estate. <laughs> and, and what had happened in that was that my late husband um, behind my back was allowing him to collect rents, you know, and I didn't know that he was in college and he would come down and collect the rents and all of that. My, my husband got sick and he had him to come and do that. And when he was doing it, he was in college and he was seeing how much money just cash and he he was really uh excited about doing that and because he was excited about it i embraced it you know i embraced that he he wanted to do that and and so it was a hobby for me real estate was a hobby for me and it was a hobby that i loved you know and i i had accumulated quite much real estate because it's something i enjoyed doing at the same time i made money and again as an engineer as an entrepreneur that's how my brain work, you know, making money. I got to have, it has to make sense to me. And so real estate was that to me. And I wanted to show him that, you know, look, you know, yeah, we make this and that, you know, for real estate, but look how much we're making for the, the, the store. You know, you just don't have it in your hand, but this is, this is money that that's way more than that. But he was really stuck on doing the real estate. And because of that, I embraced it. And when he's, started his first um, flip, but his first um, project was a flip. Uh, he wound up getting over $200,000 on that flip in a, you know, about eight year, I mean, eight month period. And so then it was Airbnb, because he was, he wanted to continue doing that because he made so much money, he was so excited. I said, no, you have to diverse, we're going to do this. Then he fell in love with Airbnb because he was making so much money in that. So I love the fact that he was enjoying it it was fun for him and he was also posting it and letting his friends know and all of his friends wanted to be a part of it and as a result of that his friends wanted me to help them and my position to my son was look you know i'm crazy busy if you want me to do that you have to make your first million once you make your first million then i'll create a company and i'll help everybody you know that's and that's that was the deal and that's what i did and that from from that has built this. I love it. And you know, I, I also am very passionate about real estate. Um, don't know nearly as much as you do, of course, <laughs> but when somebody wants to work with the entrepreneur dream team, I noticed on there's investment opportunities, but let's talk about a couple of them because you mentioned, you know, Airbnb and I saw tiny homes, islands. Talk about what is the opportunity for somebody who is maybe looking for a way to get multiple income streams or diversify? Okay, for the Entrepreneur Dream Team, how I set it up is quite unique. And what I do is I, I purchase projects that I, I've done the numbers on, I've already done all the homework, and I know how much money it's going to generate. And then I create a business plan around it where it includes my members. If you become a member, you become family. As family members, you now are able to invest in any of these projects. It could be our private island. It could be our tiny home project. It could be our bed and breakfast. It could be, you know, any project that we have that's set up, the minimum you can make with our project is $22,000 a year. So, yes. Wow. So, if you if you are in, then, and you, you, you see that you're making that money, you're going to want to do it again. So, we allow you to choose the same project or another. But okay. we like for you to diversify because every project, you know, even the tiny home project, you not only uh, are making the $22,000 a year, you now own a piece of property. That tiny home is yours. So you now have an asset as well as the income coming in. Okay. We allow you to choose uh, to do it passively or residually. Okay. So you, you don't have to, some people are busy in their job. They don't want to give it up. It's just the American way and they just have it in their head. They need it. Even though they're making more money with me than they are with a job that they've had for 30 years almost, they still don't want to let it go because they have maybe the 401, they are almost close to their retirement or whatever their reason is, they don't want to let it go. So we set it up so they don't have to. How would somebody, so let's say somebody wants to, to get started, become a member. What is the minimum that somebody could invest and still 
you know, I know people who come in with a lot of money probably are going to make a lot of money, but what if somebody comes in with a smaller amount? What, what is the, <laughs> that, that amount? Okay. So first of all, right now, for the first time I have created a, well, I have 1 million on your own terms program. That program is only with my millionaire students. Everybody that come in are not interested in becoming a millionaire. They're just looking for income that they are trying to supplement so they can have more money and live more comfortable. So this 1 million on your own term program is strictly uh, my, my millionaire students. My students that's already made a millionaire or a million dollars or we're working on making a million dollars. So since it happened the way it has happened, uh, again, it wasn't even planned. It was just the competitiveness in the people who were in it competing with each other and they made a million dollars. And I thought it was fun. And I thought, well, you know what? Why don't I just have a, you know, a program that is designed, designed strictly for people who want to be millionaires? Everybody won't, but some people will. And it's very intriguing to, to learn and see the eyes of people because they don't believe that they can make a million dollars because society has always painted a picture of what a millionaire looks like. And it's not a, a true picture at all. <laughs> and so as a result of that, I have a program, I have, um, I have a tour that I, I started that will be starting on April 26th, where only 20 people can sign up for each state. I wanna show that just how easy it is to make a million dollars. And I, I know when people hear that, it doesn't sound true to their ears, but the truth is a million dollars, if I can make it and I won't even try, you gotta know it's not that hard. I right. won't, I won't try. So now that I know it, and I am a very good teacher, so I have made it my business to go from state to state. I've chosen 10 states. Um, and we're starting here in Virginia where I, I live. I'm taking 20 people at a time and I am going to mentor them from nine o'clock a.m. to nine o'clock p.m. Each person treated customized so I can see exactly where they are so I can make sure that they can actually make this million dollars. Some of these people who have signed up so far, because this is our first um, meetup on uh, the 26th of this month, they don't want to make a million dollars. They just want to make 20, 30, $40,000. Well, that's cool. I mean, we're not going to turn them away. But our goal is to have 100 millionaires by end of year. So wow. we're kind of on a mission. Yeah. And, you know, it's 20, it's 20 people in each, in each one of these uh, meetings that we're setting up. And we're going from Virginia to California. So it's, um, we're doing um, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Pennsylvania, um, California, Nevada, which is Las Vegas. Um, I, if I missed one, you'll be <laughs> able okay. to- You're going schedule. all over. Yeah, so um, anyway, you, if you're close to any of those places, if you, you would like to you know, attend, go ahead, get your ticket now because you know, it's only 20 people and 20 people runs up pretty quickly. Um, and where would they get information on that? Okay, so I'll give it to you and you can link it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I have um, my Facebook page and I have a group called the Entrepreneur Dream Team on Facebook. You can join it. It's a private group, but join it and make sure when you do put your name, you know, where they, where they heard, you know, where they heard me speak so that I can know to reference, you know, the, you know, the uh, place in which I, I got them from, because I, I'm really kind of strategic about even um, the people that I even allow in the group because I, I want serious people and not wallflowers. I want people who want, who's innovative, who want to do this and not just look at everybody, have fun. And, you know, um, and, and I, I, I know that a lot of people are out there just telling people things to do and, you know, they might learn a little something and then try to teach somebody else. And it's not that easy. And I want people who have heard of me and are going, you know, to do what I am doing, that they, you know, that they succeed. I don't want them to be a part of something that somebody's trying to copy 
you know, and, um, and fail and relate them to late themselves to me. Right. Now I hear you. So a couple things, if there, you mentioned there is, so, uh, if somebody, they can get a hold of you through Facebook, but also you mentioned the master classes or to me, you mentioned masterclasses.entrepreneurdreamteam.net. You want to talk about what that is? Yes. I, you can actually, um, just go on my website and you can talk to me. You can set up an appointment. I'm very easy to talk to. I would like to talk to you. And even when you're interested, you can take a class. You know, the classes are there for you. Um, and this, um, this tour that I'm going on is only $597. That is like the reason that's the only time I've ever did that or even thought of doing it is only to get the people in so I can show people that no matter who you are, where you're from, you can make a million dollars and don't, don't have this picture in your mind that you can't because I have people who are not college graduates, they're regular people. You know, I have a 77 year old who when he came to me was 74 years old. He's a Russian Jew. He couldn't even speak that much English. He still can't speak that much English. And he's 77 right now. If he can do it, you know, anybody can do it. That is right. Well, as we wrap up, I just want to ask. So if you were to give, for those listening, if there was one piece of real estate advice or, or investing advice like this, what would you leave somebody with? to kind of plant the seeds to for maybe for people who haven't even thought about doing real estate? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that first of all, I think real estate is one of the ways that you can actually have generational wealth and something that is so safe to me is safe. And, you know, when you are putting your hard earned dollars towards anything, I'm a strong believer that you want to be safe. You cannot go wrong with real estate. So I, I'm so creative when it comes to real estate. I'm out of the box in every way. I know how to make money in so many different ways and people are not even thinking of it. Um, you know, even my, you know, I have a real estate agent that do things for me. And she always said, well, Sherry, that's not going to work. I said, just do it. And she comes back. I can't believe this work. Well, hey, it worked because. Because it's, you know, it's, it's just a matter of certain things that people look for, you know, and you don't, you know, you, that's what negotiating is all about. And it's not about people, people think you have to have money too. And that's another thing. You don't, if you have the proper mentor, mentoring is key. And I'm going to tell you another thing, the America I've traveled in different countries and, you know, and I've been around. And I think God has made it that way because because of it, I've been able to see that America is the only place that is not unified. Like we don't help each other. Like we just simply don't help each other. We don't get it. But the truth of the matter is a mentor is something not like what you see on the internet because the internet has they're, they're abusing the word mentor or coaching. They're abusing that word because they just have people who are not skilled. They're not skilled to be able to do what people want, but they say it and they have a good um, pipe dream. They're, they have a good sales pitch and, and people are suckers. I mean, I say that in a terrible, I, I know that doesn't sound good, but I, I use the word they're vulnerable, but I say they're suckers because Many of the times that they do it, they're not checking people out. They're not even checking them out. I mean, if you're going to give people your hard earned dollars, my advice to you, check them out. Okay. Yeah. And by the way, real estate is public information. If a person say they own something, check it out. They can't not tell you to do that. It's public information. So Use your good old fashioned common sense would be my thing. Okay. That is good advice. No, I love it. And you make it sound so doable. And so it is, you know, which is so inspiring. And I know I'm <laughs> inspired and others listening. So thank you so much for being on the show, Sherry. I really thank appreciate it. Thank you for it. having me. Absolutely. And just a reminder, go to masterclasses.entrepreneurdreamteam.net to get a hold of Sherry and learn everything you can about being uh, a part of her, her group. So that's it for today's show, everyone. Thank you so much for joining and we'll see you next time on the Power of Authority Spotlight. Thanks 
so much for listening to the Power of Authority Spotlight. If you are a successful founder, entrepreneur, business owner, or leader that's getting results and making a difference, and you'd like to be on this program, please visit performancepublishinggroup.com forward slash podcast to apply. That's performancepublishinggroup.com forward slash podcast. Also, if you got something out of this interview, please share this episode. Just do a quick screenshot with your phone and text it to a friend or post it on the socials. If you know someone that would be a great guest, tag them on social media to let them know about the show and include the hashtag, the power of authority spotlight. I love seeing your posts and guest suggestions. We are regularly putting out new episodes and content, so make sure you don't miss any episodes by subscribing. Your thumbs up, ratings, and reviews go a long way to help promote the show and mean a lot to me and my team. Want to know more? Go to our websites, performancepublishinggroup.com or michelleprince.com. And follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll see you next time.